this topic is uh, regenerative medicine of the lumbar spine or the low back. Uh, most people know that uh, low back pain is probably one of the number one reasons why people go see their doctor. It's probably only second to flu or cold illnesses. Statistically, 80 to 90% of us are going to present at some point in our lives to their doctor with some chronic low back pain or back pain that lasts longer than 48 hours. Why? Because we have two hands. Most creatures have four hands. You know, they walk on the, I, I don't think dogs and uh, cats get uh, back problems we do because they're, they have twice the stabilization we do. So your lumbar spine is composed of five bones, five, the five biggest bones in your back, and most of your weight that's kind of, is there, your fulcrum point is actually the lowest lowest two vertebrae in your back and your pelvis. So low back pain has a lot of causes, but when you look at regenerative medicine, what we're trying to address, as we do in any other part of the body, is instability. People say as you get older, well, your discs start to bulge and you get arthritis, but one thing we don't address is why do you get arthritis and why do your discs bulge? Well, one major reason is that in our body, our bodies are always in a state of constant breakdown and repair. And at any point when breakdown exceeds repair, it doesn't have to be a football tackle or a uh, car accident. It can just be that maybe you're a little older, maybe your nutrition wasn't as good, maybe you're sitting funny, maybe you're in the car too long for your job, and the ligaments in your back are starting to break down and your body's not doing a great job of healing them. It's typically ligaments don't heal well and things start to shift and move and you start to get a little arthritis. These joints that were like this are starting to rub on each other and your body's response to bone on bone is it makes more bone. So the purpose of prolotherapy is, excuse me, the purpose of regenerative medicine is to address uh, those instabilities. So when it comes to the low back, we'll look at a couple structures that are very, very important. Uh, one of them are the facet joints in your back. Now facet joints hold the bone above with the bone below and they provide a lot of strength and stability. When the ligaments that hold these two joints together start to get loose and rub, you start to get pain, um, you start to get dysfunction, you start to get arthritis. So in a typical case for regenerative medicine in the back, for someone who's thinking, well, should I do this? And exactly what are you gonna do specifically? I can tell them, once you're comfortable and once you're laying down, uh, we will numb you up with a little injectable anesthetic right under the skin. We'll take a slightly longer needle and we'll go down to those facet joints, which are roughly about a finger breadth or so off of the midline. And we'll hit each of those in the affected area. About two finger breaths off your midline, if you ever look at a spine that look like these things, like these little, they look like little wings or horns. And those are called spinous processes. And a lot of your muscles attach to When people get a lot of back spasm, there's a big muscle on the side called the quadratus lumborum that's often a major source of pain. Well, if that quadratus lumborum is having trouble or has having some little wear and tear along those attachment points, we want to address that. Lastly, you want to look at where your spine and your pelvis kind of meet, and that little bowl in the back. There's a big ligament in the back called the um, iliolumbar ligament. And the two lowest bones in your back connect that ligament from there to the sides of your pelvis. It's almost like a, uh, a safety belt or a weight belt that's held to hold you together. And it's not something people think about normally. In anatomy lab, they just say cut right through that so you can see stuff. Um, to a spine surgeon, it's that thing that gets in the way of them doing the spine fusion. They just get rid of it. But you really need that iliolumbar ligament for stability. So you want to hit that ligament where it attaches on the spine and you want to hit it where it attaches on the pelvis as well. Because if you can shore that ligament up and strengthen it, you get a much more stable back. So that's the basic anatomy of the lumbar spine. Uh, there might be, you might do more or less depending on your particular condition. So if you're unsure about that and what you know your healthcare provider would be doing for you, just contact one of us, we'll be happy to tell you.